Easy guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the Captain Pontman channel once again. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you do like what you see, what do we do? We hit that like button, we hit that subscribe button, and we show this UK collector some love, guys. Thank you, really, really appreciate it. Uh, so today, we've not been on one in quite a while, so apologies for the lack of content that you know, you've actually been receiving, guys. I've had a lot of things going off, a lot of meetings, a lot of interviews and stuff like that, as you can see in the work shirt and the no hat today. Uh, this is what my hair looks like. Um, so yeah, we've not really had much chance to go out and do any hunts or anything like that. But today, we did manage to pop into Forbidden Planet in Sheffield for a little bit. Um, not a massive hunt, just a short hunt today, guys. But we did go in there just to see what they have on offer, see what's available, see what they've got in stock, that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go in Forbidden Planet Sheffield today, have a quick look around and see what we've got available. A few new Funko, a few new Marvel Legends, the double packs are in, that sort of stuff. So we'll have a quick look at them and see what else they've got to, to look at, guys, that sort of stuff. Um, I do apologise, we've not had much content recently, like I say, I've been really, really busy. My birthday is coming up within next Saturday, it is, guys, the 28th of September, mark it in your calendars, 28th of September, so obviously, hopefully, with the birthday funds and stuff like that, we will be going out on a few more toy hunts, and we may do a toy haul as well, see exactly what it is that I got for my birthday, that sort of stuff. Hopefully, we're looking for some double packs and some Marvel Legends, guys, you know I love those legends. So yeah, obviously, I will do some more toy hunts when we have some more funds available, and I will do some more unboxing, some more reviews, we have got a few things to still look at and that sort of stuff so they will be coming soon guys but yeah toy hunt today forbidden planet sheffield really hope you enjoyed the video if you do obviously hit a like hit a subscribe you know we're all about that subscribe life uh, and yeah let's take a look at forbidden planet and see what they had on offer today guys Okay, so here we are in Forbidden Planet Sheffield straight away let's have a quick look at the new section of pops that they've got in Oh, they've got the Treehouse of Horror, Simpsons Pops, what they got? Let's have a look, Panther Marge, pretty cool, Demon Lisa, King Homer, that one's sweet with the little Marge, Alien Maggie, oh, and they've got the 80 Years as well, really like that Human Torch, I think that was absolutely sweet, like that a lot, and then the Submariner as well, that looks pretty cool, I love that 80 Years logo, I think that was awesome. Oh, and then they've got the Castaway, the Chuck Nolan with Wilson, little Wilson, that looks really, really cool as well. A few League of Their Own stuff, a couple of the big pops, a few of the new James Bonds. That Xenomorph looks sweet as well with the blue metallic paint. Oh, and they've got the movie moments, Commissioner Gordon with Batman. Like that, that's actually got a light up feature in there as well. So let's go, let's go and have a look at the Marvel Legends guys. Again, only a small section in the Sheffield store, unfortunately. Still got Shoru, Loki, Beta Ray Billing. I do need those Hulk head sculpts too for my Hulk Builder figure piece. They've got the 80 years Captain America. I know this one's been quite hard to find over in the US. So, yeah, I've only got one of these in as far as my way. 30 quid though. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So, got the Thor and Iron Man. A few other legends I'm not too bothered about. Captain America. Black Widow back there again. That's come back in stock. Yeah, again, guys, only small, only a small section, really, so nothing too major, to be honest with you. Marvel's Black Cat, Union Jack, Captain Marvel and Talos. And yeah, your standard other legends, really, so more from the comic book. Still got that red skull in, not able to shift that. I'm not surprised at 27 quid, really, but hoping that that'll come down, because I would like that one. And then they've got the new Dark Crystal Age of Re is it Resistance figures in. They look pretty sweet. Alien, and the McFarlane Game of Thrones Viserion. I do have the other Game of Thrones figures. Well, the only one I'm missing is Arya still, but I've kind of gone a bit a bit off them, to be honest. And then they've got the new Kingdom Hearts 3 double pack in from Diamond Select. Maleficent with Sora, I think that is. That looks cool. And then the new Diamond Select Bruce Lee as well. That's pretty cool. I've seen a few, a few people have been getting that on a few of the Facebook pages. That's cool. The McFarlane Predator. To be fair, I do like the, the stuff that Neko are putting out recently. Stick with the typical Iceman, Captain America Diamond Select. Rogue as always. That one doesn't seem to shift either, even though I do really like that figure, but we've kind of gone a bit off the selects now, as you guys know. We love those legends. The Walking Dead figs on sale. A few Transformers and Overwatch figures, things like that. But yeah, nothing too major, to be honest with you. 
I'm hoping they've got them uh, Marvel Legends double packs in. We'll go and have a look around, uh, round, round the other side in a minute. See if we can find them bad boys. But yeah, a few Pokemon figures, Dragon Ball Z figures, or Dragon Ball. Again, I don't watch it, so I don't really know. And then, yeah, on the sales section, that's cool. That portal looked like. Attach that to the wall with the portal on coming out of it. That's really, really cool. I do like that. Do love a bit of Rick and Morty. Looking forward to the next season coming out, guys. That should be sweet. We're so long for it now. So yeah, let's have a quick look on this side of the sales section. Too fussed about it there, really. We do have the double pack Charlotte Flair and Rick Flair in. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And then, yeah, Forbidden Planet tend to do with oh, the Sheffield one, do these Star Wars Funko mystery boxes. You can see a DC one there and a Star Wars one. And then we'll have a quick look at the sales section of Pops, but nothing realistically I'm bothered about, to be honest. They do still have that Sasha in from The Walking Dead. But yeah, they seem like quite a lot of the rejects, guys, ones that no one wants, realistically. Hence, I'm still been in stock. Well, they've added a few of the WWE ones to the sale rack as well. Sergeant Slaughter and Triple H, that sort of stuff. And, you know, they got the SpongeBob house, more Batman and Robin, Batman and the Joker. A few of the other Star Wars stuff. But realistically, like I said, nothing too, too major, to be honest with you. I think they've got a few new ones in. We'll have a look at them in a minute. Um, but realistically, it's just your same old, same old. I mean, to say it's such a small store, Forbidden Planet Sheffield, you know, half of it is literally covered in Funkos, as you can see, guys. That's a new one, not seen that one before. The Devil Betty Boop, that's pretty cool. I do like that. And shout out to the Power Rangers, it's morphing time. Gotta love those Power Rangers. Still got Teddy in from Westworld, can't shift him either. Do love Westworld. Westworld's probably one of my favourite shows of all time. Absolutely awesome and cannot wait for season three. It's going to be absolutely sweet. A few of the Pop Rocks. Really looking forward to Papa Emeratus from the band Ghost coming out. Can't wait for Sheffield to hit, for that one to hit the Sheffield store because I'll literally be getting that straight away. Absolutely adore Ghost. And we've got the new Octo Spidey in as well. That's pretty sweet. I do like the Marvel Pops, like I say, I've kind of slowed down as you guys know on the Pops now, but I would still like to buy the Marvel ones and stuff like that. The new Annabelle in. Did have the original, no point in buying a duplicate because it's pretty much the same except she's sat on a stool or a chair. Bit of Forrest Gump. Love Forrest Gump, that's a cool pop to be fair, I do like that one. So the Chucky on car as well. All the Predator Pops, Hannibal, just the normal version, non the, not the, the non bloody version. Jim Henson with Kermit, if you're a Muppets fan, boom, there you go. And yeah, a few other Disney stuff, Lion King, and then from the new Aladdin movie. Let's just have a look, yep, there they are, look guys. The double packs, Grandmaster and Korg, Iron Man 9 Spider, first appearance Wolverine and Hulk, Captain America, Agent Carter, and a few of the others graphic novels as you can see let's just have another quick look around the sales section see if there's anything else that we've missed anything really well, I've got Ronda Rousey though $6.99 not too bad but she was cheaper at Smith's for a fiver guys so a little bit more expensive at Forbidden Planet the opera version of Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes god I've seen that episode so many times but it's a cool episode cool pop yeah, realistically, nothing we're too bothered about. I do like that though, that Rick and Charlotte Flair double pack. Love Charlotte Flair, the Queen. As you guys know, I got back into WWE recently, and yeah, she is my favourite. Never thought I'd say it, but absolutely love the the, uh, the female superstars. I think they're uh, awesome. And then, yeah, a few of the five star figs, Yu Gi Oh! and Sonic figures. Got the WWE title there, if you fancy yourself a champ. But realistically, yeah, nothing too major. Like I said, the only problem with this store is it's just so small, guys. I really do need to take you to the Leeds or Manchester one, and I am planning on visiting the London one as well. I'd love to go there and see what they've got on offer, because uh, I know the legend section there is massive. Yeah, a few blind bags, the Lego stuff, Harry Potter stuff, Funko Pine Size Heroes, and a couple of plushies. The Alfred Hitchcock fig. 
We want Man on the Wasp posters. I think they may need updating now, but let's have a quick look at the Star Wars section. Not much in for the Black Series, bits and bats, guys. Nothing major. Yeah, to be honest with you, it doesn't really look like they've got that much in, so nothing to pick up today, I'm afraid, I don't think. So yeah, let's uh, head back to the main cam, guys, and close off the video today. Okay, so back at home, only a short hunt video today, guys, so apologies for the lack of footage there. As I said, I was quite busy popping here, there, and everywhere. I didn't have much time to go in there, but I did have a quick half an hour, so I thought I'd pop in and see what's available. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of the new pops. The Castaway pop looked absolutely awesome, um, you know, and a few of the other stuff that they've got in there and stuff like that looks really, really cool, as well as the Marvel Legends double packs. Oh, gotta have that core, gotta get that Grandmaster. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't pick anything up today, guys. Obviously, like I say uh, at the beginning of the video, it is my birthday next week, Saturday the 28th of September. So holding out for some birthday fun, some birthday treats. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to toy hunt and obviously looking to hopefully get some sort of toy haul for the birthday as well. Um, only thing realistically that I have got recently, um, one of my good friends, Ryan, um, who actually went to one of the local Smiths uh, near us, not my local, but one quite close by, actually managed to go out and he picked me up the UK repackaging Marvel legend of Spider-Man Far From Home in the stealth suit. So Ryan, thank you so much for that, dude. Really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much for thinking of me. Thanks so much for picking it up. Um, you know, that sort of stuff, mate. Shout out to you, brother. Absolutely. What a legend you are, mate. Thank you so much for that. Really, really appreciate it. So yeah, we have got this to review. That will be coming up on the channel recently. Thanks very much to Ryan. Uh, other than that, guys, we're a little bit you know scarce for content at the moment. But like I say, birthday coming up, so we will be looking to get some more figures uh, and take some more, take you on some more toy hunts, that sort of stuff. But really, really hope you enjoyed the video today, guys. Again, apologies, it is only a short one. Uh, I only had about half an hour to pop in that sort of stuff. So like I say, you saw what I saw. I literally, as soon as I stopped filming, I got the hell out of there, guys, because like I said, I didn't really have time. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. What do we say? We're all about that subscribe life. And as always, guys, take it easy.